Welcome to Tech Blueprint, a window that lets you know the latest technology news in the world. Huawei's Ascend 910C chip, made with SMIC's 7 nanometers process, has doubled its yield rate to 40%. This is not a simple numbers game, but a big chess game of China's semiconductor industry breaking through. Think about it, at this time last year, Huawei was still being strangled by the United States, but now it can achieve this level of chip yield with domestic equipment. Even Wall Street analysts said they can't understand China's speed. To talk about how great this 40% yield rate is, we must first understand the doorway of chip manufacturing. In the past, Huawei used SMIC's N plus 2 process, equivalent to 7 nanometers, to make a Cent 910C, and only 20% of the chips on each wafer could be used, which is equivalent to you spending a lot of money to buy 10 buns, but only two of them can be eaten. Now it has been raised to 40%, which is equivalent to the owner of the bun shop suddenly getting wise, making twice as many buns that can be sold with the same flour, and the production cost is clicked and cut by 40%. Industry insiders have calculated that the cost of a single chip has dropped from $3,000 to $1,800. This price advantage makes NVIDIA shudder after all, their H100 chip of the same level is still sold at a noble price of $3,500. However, the most amazing thing about Huawei's operation is not saving money, but turning the impossible into possible. Everyone knows that we can't buy EUV lithography machines, but Huawei has played with DUV lithography machines with SMIC. Just like using a kitchen knife to carve out a work of art the size of a grain of rice, they adjusted the lithography parameters and optimized the etching accuracy and stacked the 14 nanometer chip with 7 nanometer performance. This three story villa, style 3D packaging technology, was ridiculed by foreign media as Chinese primitive steelmaking last year. But this year it has become an industry textbook case. It is said that TSMC engineers are secretly studying Huawei's patents, trying to figure out how these Chinese people use second-rate equipment to do first-rate work. The production capacity is even more frightening. Huawei will produce 100,000 cs and 300,000 bs this year, which is three times the amount of last year. You should know that the total output of AI chips in China last year was only about 500,000 pieces, and Huawei alone accounted for 75% of the market share. This dominance is even more exaggerated than Apple in the mobile phone industry. Now if you go to Huawei's production line in Shenzhen, the machines are running 24 hours a day, and the workers are too busy to handle it in three shifts. The most amazing thing is that their production line has actually started to make a profit, which is simply a myth in the chip industry after all, the number of companies in the world that can make advanced processes and make money can be counted on 10 fingers. In terms of performance, Ascent 910C did not disappoint and its inference performance reached 60% of NVIDIA H100. It seems a little bit worse, but it can't resist the low price and sufficient quantity. DeepSeek's newly released R1 V3 inference server uses a Send 910B, and the computing power of a single card has soared to 80% of A100, and the task time difference of a thousand card cluster has been reduced to 12%. Who would have believed this data three years ago? What's more ruthless is that Huawei has also figured out the software ecosystem. Its own can architecture is compatible with more than 90% of PYTorch operators, 
and the MindSpore framework is easier to use than the American TensorFlow. I heard that ByteDance and Alibaba have placed orders for 70,000 units, and even international giants are secretly contacting Huawei to engage in underground transactions. However, the most frustrating thing for the United States is the maturity of the domestic 7 nanometer process. SMIC's current mass production yield is stable at 80 to 90 percent, which is not much different from TSMC. No wonder ASML CEO has been shouting on Twitter every day recently, saying that he wants to strengthen technical exchanges. Anyone with a discerning eye knows that this is because he is afraid that China will completely stop buying their lithography machines. Huawei's strategy of surrounding the city from the countryside is the right one. First, it uses mature technology to gain a firm foothold and then slowly breaks through to the high end. I heard that the next generation of Ascend 920C is on the way, and its performance is comparable to NVIDIA's latest B200. If this is really achieved, the global AI chip market is likely to change. Of course, Huawei is not sitting back and relaxing, and it still needs to work harder on the software ecosystem. After all, NVIDIA's CUDA platform has accumulated for more than 10 years, just like the status of the Android system in the mobile phone industry. But Huawei is obviously playing a big game. Their open-source strategy allows developers to customize chip functions themselves. This People's War style of play is particularly appealing to Chinese programmers. Recently, there is a joke that college students who are engaged in AI are now learning Ascend development, and CUDA has become a spare tire option. This kind of ecological reversal is much more terrible than simply selling chips. It is equivalent to shaking NVIDIA's ruling foundation from the root. Looking at Huawei's operation, I suddenly remembered what Mr. Renjingfei said, no retreat is the road to victory. From being sanctioned in 2021 to counterattack in 2025, the Chinese have completed the journey of others in 10 years in four years. Now the global AI chip market is like the smartphone battlefield of the year. Huawei came out with the Ascend series and tore a hole in NVIDIA's territory. I heard that Washington is already holding an emergency meeting. I wonder what sanctions list they can come up with this time. However, if this momentum continues, when the global AI chip market exceeds 100 billion US dollars in 2027, the Chinese solution will probably become a new benchmark in the industry.